Well, this is possibly will be my last video for this series. I completed my build, so I'd like to show you what the uh, final state of the affairs is. Uh, front didn't really change. I have optical uh, drive stays in the first position. Two next slots is uh, with the hard drive with the cooling fan in front of them. And uh, my controller, empty slot. Uh, the only change I did, I added um, some some foam here um, just to act as a as a filter so and I installed two fans for intake and um, let's see what's uh, how it's look from the side okay. side view behind the motherboard tray as you can see it's probably not the best and uh, most wonderful picture you can uh, see from the other people uh, who going nuts over cable management. I decided I stopped wasting my time on this. Uh, a number of cables became really enormous. You have a bunch of those coming uh, from your front connections to the motherboard, your usual uh, set of uh, power cables. Um, I have a tons of cables which is related to all those fans that I installed in this case and I have to use Y cables so I can uh, control them in batches uh, through my um, fan controller so for God's sake I have a good space between the radiator and uh, motherboard tray so I was able to hide a really big amount of uh, like bunch of cables here otherwise it could be really ugly so what I did I just laid everything um, flat so I can close my uh, side panel without any problems I I put some of them in bunches and just try to arrange them um, a little bit nicer but without killing myself against the wall and um, basically nobody ever sees this so you close this and until you need to arrange something next time it's not that critical so for that reason I just um, go easier on this part and uh, try to make nicer things from the other side so let's see how things look from behind not much to report uh, on the uh, back side uh, the only change I probably will do uh, when I get uh, some black screws, I put black screws uh, everywhere. Other than that, as you can see, nothing special. I get rid of um, standard uh, 140 millimeters uh, fan from coolants with a real piece of junk. Um, I have a jelly that is pushing more air than uh, for uh, 120 millimeters than it was uh, with 140. Um, could be even better fan, but uh, for the uh, color choices, I, I wanted to go with a UV reactive fan, so I use a jelly. And um, so that's how it's look from behind. And let's look for the main portion. Here we have a main view. As you see, uh, not too many changes. I installed two. 120 millimeters fans one on top of each other it's enough space here uh, for intake air to the case uh, i put some uv reactive uh, uh, coolant feather one acid green type and also i did some wiring for the um, a controller for for this um, flow meter um, i had to did do some modifications. I put some black sleeving here so you don't see those ugly uh, red and uh, black cables. Um, so it's looking a little bit ni nicer. And um, other than that, that's pretty much uh, how the system is looks. Um, I might show you a few more angles and I also I need to put uh, uh, UV lighting inside and um, so to get some benefits from all the colors that I'm work on uh, for the last couple of weeks. Here's some night shot of what I did uh, and uh, you can see how things glow with uh, UV lightning. Um, so hopefully you can see something. It's uh, not the perfect camera I have here, but uh, it gives you some idea how things uh, might look in the when the UV lighting is on. So that's uh, what we have here, and um, you can see what's going on with. Uh, video card cooler um, normal conditions you wouldn't see that because uh, it's conveniently made such way that uh, it's facing down thanks to uh, video card manufacturers
Well, that's pretty much it. It looks much nicer in a person than on a camera, believe me. Other than that, uh, that's what I did and uh, thank you for watching.